Hey you guys, so today we are looking at this, which is a cardboard box. What's in the box, man? What's in the box? Um, as you can see there, this is a trans... Hang on a minute. Transcendent. <laughs> One to six collection toys by art. Or is it by art? Transcendent. I don't know. Anyway. It is a cardboard box with something that is pretty heavy. It feels pretty heavy. Let's get the stabby thing out. Let's do that. Let's see if we can pop. quite cut all the cellar tape. There we go. Uh, yes, turn that in. There we go. Mm -hmm. I shall put it safe in there. And inside we have. Oh, this. So yeah, I am unboxing this as you are um, watching it with me. So I haven't seen what's in the box yet. I've seen videos of it, other people's videos of it, but da, 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 there we go. I do like this artwork on the cover. Let me move this back a little bit. There we go. Because this is going to be a big figure. So yes. Transcendence, one six collection toys. That is the front of the box. That is the side of the box. That is the back of the box. Warning, choking hazard. Warning, the collectibles action figure containing fine components may cause choking. Please watch out for children under 14 years. To use, do not allow children under three years to contact with the product. Product spelled P-R-O-D-U-T, product. Now I'm dyslexic, but even I know we don't spell product like that. Right, made in China. So. I think most of you out there will probably know what's inside this. Let's see if we can find a little... Anyway, there we go. Ah, this is a fun bit. Ooh. There we go. Let's try that over there. So, I'm guessing it is going to be... Ah, right. We have... It's sealed there as well. Okay. Da, 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 da. Cut through there. And it's foam. No, it isn't. It is the Man of Steel. Superman. So we have, <laughs> I guess these are the heads under there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hands. Stand. Our batteries for what's under there and the weirdest stand I've ever seen because that that is not a very big stand for this size of figure um, I think they're trying to be clever and do it sort of like you stick it on a leg but yeah so far oops it's looking pretty good I do like the look of the suit I do like the flesh tones on the hands they look pretty good this is a third party figure, so obviously not an official hot toy or anything like that. But then, not all of us can afford official hot toys. Right, we shall pop him out like so, and just in there. I will move the box, which the box is really heavy. But I'm just looking at it, look at the. I don't know if you can see that there, but the fantastic detail. In the hands. Can you see that? Tidy, you know, the veins and things in there. That is pretty impressive. Yeah. Right. Let's see. So the feet, we shall stand him. Oh, it is a heavy. He's actually quite heavy. Let's. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and he's got. A piece of plastic around his neck. I guess that's to stop it rubbing. Can we get that out from under there? Yeah, there we go. I'll just spare it. So yeah, I will say he does seem rather wow, rather top heavy. I'm sure a little bit of work 
there we go we came to stand wow i think that is pretty good just out of box to me that is pretty good henry cavell i like it i like the fact that the sleeves there go down far enough to hide the wrist sort of joints so you're not seeing the the ball joints yeah all right pretty cool let's have a oh my god stream close up yeah, that looks pretty good we have so it is material that so that's going to move nicely with because i've heard that the hot toys one is like a plug-in thing you know like not removable which seems really strange but yeah the the shine on that is nice slightly metallic color to that nice little bit of gold in there it's a very heavy figure wow and the boots which look pretty cool the cape also it is a double double cape you can feel capes are so last season darling it, yeah and it's it sits nice wow i like it i like that a lot and it's standing which i'm pretty impressed with right let's see what the other head looks like angry head so that comes in a little baggy Oh, it's really weird foam. So yeah, there is the other face, the angry head. Hmm, looks pretty cool. Hair's a little bit not quite to the edge there. Not too bad. Face is kind of glossy, but he would be, he's in angry mode, so he would be kind of sweaty. So that bit comes out. There's a screw in the top of there, so you're going to put the batteries in there. So, I'm going to go do that, and I will see you in just a little moment. So, there it is. I put the batteries in. I haven't put the screw back in yet, because I probably will take the batteries out. I don't like to leave batteries in things. Um, and the head will keep... Ah, it's motion sensitive, so that's how you get it to light up. And you can see there, it's, they gave me five batteries like so um but it only kind of seems to take two which is pretty good so that goes in there and as you can see those eyes light up nicely let me just turn off the there we go Ta -da. so yeah it does when you see it in complete darkness it does light up i suppose the head a little bit too much on my finger but with at least one light on that looks enough i like that i think that's pretty cool um this head isn't posable that is locked so you're not going to be able to maneuver it around once you've got it on there it's going to be that yeah i'm going to leave like i said there is the little screw which i'm going to put over there carefully it's cardboard um but yeah i think that is I think that is quite quite a good likeness to me anyway. I think the eyes light up quite nicely. I need to say the hair up there could be a little bit better. For what are you paying for this? Yes, it's not a hot toy. It is the hot toy sculpt, obviously. But I still think, you know. I think it's nice I, i'm feeling the figure there is a good weight to it it stands well um yeah i, I see nothing i see nothing wrong with this you know that is a reasonably good likeness to me that is a pretty damn good likeness of henry cavell the skin tones the eyes the outfit looks great now the difference between the very 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 now expensive hot toy and this oops <laughs> yes he's gonna fall i get the feeling that that stand will come in useful but i just think it's i just think for the price of it it's pretty good 
Let me just lay him down because I got a feeling the camera's going to tilt forward. There we go. Right. So I'm going to use the stand. So the stand, I keep moving. And every time I move past it, his eyes light up. This is kind of novel to me. Everything is really well packed. This is like proper bags and proper, you know, products. There is a little plaque on the front of there, but nothing, you know, with no names or anything on it. So I guess the idea is that you use that and you stick that like, like so unhook that so it fits a bit better but there we go yeah so with a bit of maneuverability there we go yeah so we get him how far back can we get him so he's to there you know that kind of that kind of pose seems pretty good to me you see, I, I don't fit. I, I, my friend Jordan, I mentioned him a lot, has the hot toy of this. And he said that he's really scared of move, moving it because he doesn't want to damage the suit. But look, I do that and I don't feel so bad. It feels like nice material. It feels reasonably sturdy. It doesn't feel like it's going to hold a crease like some of the hot toys do. Let's have a go through maneuverability. So. It moves them up, forward into obviously. Just have interest. The head, sadly, will not go back. It will go forward, but it won't go that far back, mainly because the hair gets in the way. So you got tilt, obviously swivel, but sadly that head will not go back. So you're not going to get him into that great flying mode. The chest, it doesn't feel like there's any articulation in there. There is a little bit in the waist, but there's no, it doesn't feel to be any crunch in that top body part. Um, let's have a look, is there any swivel knot in the bicep, but you can get the wrist, the arm up, and obviously the wrists tilt, swivel, etc. Right, um, we did the waist, legs wise, up to there, forward, kind of backwards. He seems to have a package. Uh, Knee-wise, pretty good. I would say though, yeah, be careful when you're putting it back because you don't want to pinch his outfit in there. The leg forward, upwards, swivel. It must seem to be a little. I mean, that's maneuverable. That's not glued down, so that's nice. Yeah, I don't really have a flight stand strong enough, but I'm sure. Something. I'm gonna try and do it. <laughs> I need a, I need a bigger camera. Something like that on a flight stand. Even with the angry eyes, would look pretty good. Point the feet down a little bit. Yeah, this is. It's got potential to be posed quite nicely, and you're not going to worry about it as much because the one thing I hate. I, I mean, I love the hot toys I have, but I hate the way it says in the instructions. You know, do not leave him posed for too long because it will crease, you know, and stuff like that. And I'm just, I can see my hot toy collection over there. And a lot of them are stood in what I call museum mannequin poses. That I would feel happy leaving him in that pose. I've got like, I've got a lot of the Marvel Universe ones and like Black Widow and Thor. Even like I'm looking at uh, Gad, uh, Star Lord, you don't want to. You don't feel like you want to leave them in a pose for too long because the the pleather jackets are going to crease. But that, come on, guys, that looks pretty cool. You got to admit, I was a little bit unsure when I bought this whether I was, you know, doing the right thing. But looking at that. Go admit that looks pretty damn good. Maybe that's not the best of stands, but then again, it's better than having a big peg thing in the middle there. I 
I like it. I think it looks pretty damn cool. I may buy some more. I've always been a little bit whether you guys want to see the sort of hot toy stuff or the knockoff hot toy stuff anyway. It's not knockoff, it's second third third party. That's what we call it. Third party. But I think that looks so cool. Look at that. That's Superman. Damn that Superman. That hair needs a little bit of work on it. I can even on that head. It's just a little bit. It's that bit there is just not quite right. But still. I think this looks brilliant. Just brilliant. Yep. Like I say, when I ordered it, I was like, what did I order that for? Did you ever do that? You order something and then you think, what did I order that for? Why did I order that? Oh. I'm looking at the other one that I was looking at was the uh, Two Face, which looks brilliant. But my problem with that is I don't have a Batman to go with it. I want, you know, I'd want Two Face and Batman. And I, I don't see there being that good a, you know, as good a Batman as this. Um, I would like to see these companies do more comic book versions of things because Hot Toys mainly does, um, you know, the movie versions. I would like to see them do, you know, comic book Superman, comic book Batman, that kind of thing. But yeah, I'm impressed with this. I, I would definitely, if you're sitting on the fence like, ooh, not unsure about it, if you don't have the budget, who has the budget these days to buy it a hot toy then this i think would definitely look good on your shelf and i mean you're not going to have it i mean i've got two big bright lights shining on it let's just unplug one look at that let's see if that'll focus there we go that looks that looks pretty cool yeah i i highly recommend this figure i highly recommend it um yeah so that's kind of it um, like I say it's it's what you can afford these days, and the the current situation with the world, you know, we're all we're all suffering. It's a crazy world. Um, you know, I, I'm going to say this out to you guys: look after yourselves. Yeah, try and find those happy things that make you happy, and and embrace them. This kind of stuff makes me happy. So this has brought a smile on my face. Hopefully, showing it to you guys I, also that cheers me up. That makes me feel good and thank you for all the comments on the bottom because I, I really like to know what you guys think of these things um i will try and reply to every comment that's ever put on the page sometimes i know it takes me a while to get around to it uh but that might be because you've asked me what size the figure is and i can't find it <laughs> or something like that but i will promise honestly try and get back to you guys yeah so yeah that's it guys um like i say if you want one of these i got this off aliexpress you can find them on ebay they're all over the place so i'll let you guys find one yeah so yeah oh let me just show you before we finish <coughs> he comes in at well that's <laughs> that's your average ruler so he's he's definitely over 30 centimeters 30 centimeters in a bit and the other hands these are pretty cool actually one of them is a weird i was just looking at him we have we have that which is like a gun holding hand which is kind of weird because that's not really superman shtick is it but then flag american flag da, 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 da. that looked pretty cool so um yeah i think this is quite quite a nice pose actually i mean heroic because the world could do with some heroes right now we're living in some weird times with proper villains and very few heroes um yeah i think warner brothers you need to sort your stuff out and get these film franchises working again because we we need these kind of heroes yeah so yeah i'm gonna wind this up because i'm gonna get all deep and philosophical this is my transcendent superman <laughs> If you've enjoyed the video please hit the like shares and subscribe button down there at the bottom it all helps the channel yeah i think this is a great figure and i have enjoyed reviewing it and if you've enjoyed the review share it with your friends that's all i can ask 
So, all I will say is have a great day, a great night, and hopefully I will see you all in the next video. Bye now.